Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're talking about binding, neck binding, arm binding, all kinds of binding. I know binding can seem like such a daunting task, but it really doesn't have to be. So we're going to talk about um, binding today because we're going to make this easy and I'm going to show you just how easy it really is and how we don't really have to be worried about it. Um, binding, I just love the fact, uh, I love binding because it gives it more of a ready to wear look. Um, it looks super cute and then once you're done with it, you have already top stitched it, which top stitched and also gives it a little bit of an extra oomph um, so it looks just great um, so I am going to be working on the curved hem tank um, I love that pattern and it's free so that is so great um, and it does come with binding so we're gonna go we're gonna work on that and we're gonna get over the fear of binding together so let's go ahead and get started so I have my binding right here. This is my uh, neckband binding. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it right sides together at the raw edges, the short raw edges. So it's right sides together. And I'm going to go ahead and sew those right sides together um, right here on that short edge to create a like a band and I'm doing that for my armbands and my make bands all of the bands that I'm using are the uh, binding that I'm going to create so I'm going to go ahead and sew that so I've created a uh, my binding uh, circle here now there's a couple of different ways you can do binding um, some people depending on what garment you're making you could leave it raw at one edge and attach it first together and then overlap it like um, if I'm if I'm coming to an end where they will overlap each other um, then I can do that but this is going to be like an armband so that's why we put it on the round uh, I'm gonna get rid of these tails because I just don't like them. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quarter out my band so I know exactly where I'm gonna put it on my top. That way it um, fits just right. Um, so I'm gonna go from the edge where my um, uh, where I searched, that's where my seam is, and that's gonna be my back, and I'm gonna go to the front. And I like to give like a little notch um, I really honestly don't even take out that much of my fabric, just a little bit. Once I sew it on, you won't even be able to see it. But I just like to be mark it that way. You can just, if you don't like that, you can just pin it, whatever. Um, and I'm matching the back, that seam, with where I notched, and that will be my front. And then I'm going to the sides, and those will be my quarters. And then I'm going to do, obviously, that for all my bands, uh, but I'm just showing you on this one. And then I'm going to show you, here's my top, and here's my, this is my neck band. Now, for either my neck band, my arm band, whatever it is that you're doing um, binding on, you're going to have to find the quarters for that as well. So I have my shoulder seams, I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to go to the back, and that's my back. I already have a back seam, so I already have a mark there. And I'm going to go to the front and notch it again and then this is very important you always want to make sure that you find your sides your shoulder seams are not your quarters so you want to make sure that you go from the front and back putting those together and go to one side first and then to the other side you, that is so important when you're doing armbands neck bands uh, whatever you're doing is that you find your quarter so that your band is even your uh, band or your binding is even now that I've got my shirt marked um, we're going to go ahead and put our binding on first we're gonna sew our binding on and then we will top stitch it so to sew our binding on we're going to put it right side of my binding as you can see this is where my serge edge is so this is my wrong side so this is my right side and I'm gonna put that right side with the right side of my uh, bodice now as you can see here this is my back line the back of my bodice so I'm gonna match up with the back of my band. I like all my seams to be in the back, so that's why I'm doing that. I'm gonna match that up. And then I'm going to match up all my other quarter seams that I made, match them up with the quarter seams that you made on your top. All right, 
now that my quarter seams are matched, I'm gonna head over to my machine and either you can do this with a stretch stitch on your sewing machine or you can do your serger. It really is up to you. Um, whatever you're comfortable with, I'm going to go ahead and sew that net, that uh, binding on. I'm stretching lightly so it evens out with my fabric of my bodice. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you just exactly how I stretch lightly. Here I am at my serger and I always, always, always like to start, like to start with my back. I'm gonna lift my foot and I'm gonna put it right over that back seam of removing your pin. You always wanna remove your pin um, so you don't run over it, ruin your uh, machine, ruin your project, uh, maybe even get a pin to the eyeball, all things we don't wanna do. Um, so I want to grab my fabric and I'm going to go right here to my first quarter point and I'm gonna grab it right here at the quarter point and make sure I'm I'm holding tight to it and kind of stretch out my uh, uh, band to fit my bodice because you know that's kind of kind of bring it back together. So I'm gonna make sure that my raw edges are together and then I'm gonna go ahead and as I'm pulling, I'm going to go ahead and sew. Once I get to that quarter point, I let go, take my pin away, and I go to the next quarter point and do exactly the same thing. I do take my time putting these on uh, because you want them to be nice and even and you don't want to miss any spots. So I always take my time fixing my band and making sure that they're matched up, aligned correctly, and then I'm going to sew. Um, again, I'm just kind of pulling and, and making it match up evenly. And I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing it all on. My band has been attached. So as you can see now, the wrong side, you can still see that um, seam right there, that uh, uh, seam allowance right there. Um, on the right side, you can see that it's been stitched together and it's just a straight band. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab and we're gonna push our uh, seam up, our seam allowance gonna go up. So you can go ahead and back, go around and steam it up. And then we're gonna grab your uh, binding and we're gonna fold it over that seam allowance like so to cover up the seam allowance and to create that binding right there. So here's my seam allowance. We're going to cover it up. Closer view, seam allowance up and band down over the seam allowance now if you want your band to be like really skinny you can pull it real tight and then you'll be just the skinny one if you want it to be bigger you can go just at the edge of your seam allowance and then your band will be a little bit bigger it really it's up to you how tight you want it then we're going to go back and pin i want to pin that down so that way when i go to sew it it doesn't try to curl up on me or anything like that and then mess me up as I'm trying to sew it. Um, I've had that done before because sometimes I am lazy and I just go ahead and start doing it without pinning. Now make sure that you're not like super stretching your fabric. You just want to go along with it just like it's supposed to do. Um, if you want to give it a little bit of steam to help you bring it down, that works great. Um, and then you're just kind of pinning all the way around. I know this one got kind of steamed up. I might have to go back and steam that again. So I'm gonna go all the way around and pin it down. I like to do it all at the same time just cause that's just what I like to do. But if you wanted to take one band at a time or band and then a neck band, it is up to you and you can do that. This tail, serger tail, I like to tuck it in there so it's out of the way. And when I'm folding over, I am stretching the band so that it is the width of the uh, bodice. So you might have to stretch it just a little bit, just like when you sewed it on. So now they are all pinned on there. We're gonna go ahead and sew them on. Now for attaching our um, uh, binding, there are different things that you can use to attach your binding. See how pretty that's going to be? You can use, if you have a cover stitch, you can use your cover stitch. Um, if you don't have a cover stitch, you can use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine or any kind of stretch stitch, or you can use a double needle on your sewing machine also to give it um, the look. Now, you wanna be careful with um, a straight stitch. I know some people like to just go ahead and use a straight stitch. Um, you need to make sure that you 
have enough um, stretch to get the top over your head. If you just use a stretch stitch, a small stretch stitch, you might not be able to stretch out the neck and that top might not be able to fit through your neckline and that will not be nice. So that's why you need to use some kind of stretch stitch on your sewing machine. Um, so that way you have enough stretch to put it on and it won't, uh, you know, kind of get in the way. So let's go ahead and sew it. The first option I'm going to show you is the cover stitch. And what I do is I go ahead and I like to usually line up my, my uh, top somewhere, find a little piece on my cover stitch that I like to look at. Um, there's this little um, ledge on my foot that I like to kind of follow along with the seam of my top. That's what I like to do. Um, if you want to do it closer to the top or closer, you know, right in the middle of the bottom, it is up to you. That's just preference. You want to make sure that your seam is inside encased in there face up. So that way it can be encased in there as you're sewing it. And then we're going to go ahead and go around. I want to take it slow. Um, when I'm going around the neckband, first of all, you want to obviously remove those stitches, but second of all, you want to make sure that you are catching your seam allowance in there. Now you don't have to go this low. I'm kind of just kind of taking it easy, but, um, you want to make sure that you do a good job, especially I'll say on your neckband. Um, I'm not as worrisome on my armbands. I kind of take that a little bit faster, but you want your neckband to look nice and even um, when you're done. So I do like to take my time on my neckband. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it all up. My cover stitch is my favorite way of binding because it gives it a very nice and professional finish when you're done. And um, if you look at the, I'm just trimming all these pieces of thread, but if you look at the inside, your binding it gives it a really nice look on the inside and a really nice look on the outside. So that is why uh, my cover stitch is one of my favorites. The second option I'm gonna show you today is the zigzag stitch option. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trap that again, same thing like we did with our cover stitch, but I'm just using a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. Now, I like to do um, a longer zigzag stitch. I do it at about a, a 3.5 uh, length and a three width, which is um, the usual. Um, and, um, but you can, I will also recommend you to use some scrap fabric and try and see the different zigzag stitches or stretch stitches on your sewing machine and see which, how you would like it, what works best for you. Um, I'm going kind of at, at the edge and I'm going to go kind of fit my foot um, right on top of it and kind of put it right in the middle. I want that zigzag stitch kind of in the middle of the whole thing and I'm just kind of letting it go. But if you want your zigzag stitch to be closer to the edge, it really is up to you. Whatever works best for you, whatever the look you want to go for. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going all the way around making sure that my fabric is my uh, seam is encased in there as I'm going around. All right, so my zigzag stitch is finished and top stitched. It's a good, nice stretch. Um, so it's, it, um, it doesn't work. It got kind of stuck right here where it was going through, but looks good. On this last option, I'm using this um, stretch um, zigzag stitch. Um, it works really good for hemming and it kind of gives it a little bit of a different look. It's got like the zigzag in the middle where it goes in the back and then the, and then the uh, two sides. So it kind of does a little design. I'll show you once I'm done. But I really like using this one as well. And like I said, you can try all the different stitches on your sewing machine. Obviously every sewing machine has different kind of stitches on it. Um, so you want to try and see which one is the one that you uh, feel more comfortable with. So honestly, no matter what stitch you're doing, it doesn't matter. You just want to make sure that your fabric is um, tucked in nice and staying where you want it. And then you kind of have to figure out where you want your um, stitch to be, how close to the edge or how far off the edge you want it as you're going around um, doing your stitch. So here it is. Um, finished on this side. I just did this little spot right here so you could see it. Um, now, honestly, you can go around on your sewing machine and looking at all the different stitches um, that you have on your sewing machine. Um, and they all give you like a little bit of a different look. This one, it does a little bit of a tunneling like look, um, but I don't mind it. 
Um, and then there's the, obviously the stretch zigzag stitch, um, which is fine. It doesn't give me as much of a stretch, but it's still a good stretch. Um, and then the top stitching on the cover stitch, that really is the best um, option if you do have that, but I know not everybody has it. Um, I love using my cover stitch, but I also love, sometimes I like to do a different kind of stitch, like a, a, a stitch that has a little bit of a design to make it look really, really super cute and dainty around the, the neckline or something like that. And a lot of those stretch, those stitches can give a really good stretch. So make sure you try them out. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did or did not do. Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't so you can be entered to win the $50 Alien My Gift Certificate. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Come join us on our Facebook or Instagram page and I'll see you all next time.